High Point is a, it's a great city. It's always been a great city. It was a quiet city at one time. It was uh, so quiet we was uh, considered country here. I can say it's changed drastically, you know, over the years. Building wasn't a problem and not uh, relocate uh, lower income people. We didn't have that problem here. The furniture market, for one, keeps the city pumping. Yes, it's two shows a year, and with those two shows, that's when we have the multitude of different cultures coming in for either purchasing, uh, uh, selling, or to uh, view the different furniture. At the restaurant we have, which is Becky and Mary, they get a lot of uh, new clients and customers when the furniture market comes in, so that helps them out, and uh, it helps out word of mouth of this district here, which is the Washington Street uh, Historic district. This is a small city, but we do major things here in this city. High Point is known for furniture. High Point is known for one of a handful of Bentley Rolls Royce dealerships. Well, this city is small, but it's a lot that comes out of here. You hear the talk of Fantasia, John Coltrane. Uh, these are people that lived here. These are people that lived here, went on and did bigger things from a small city. And there was plenty on this street that were on entrepreneurs that own, uh, started their own uh, restaurants. But as you see, they've long gone because of things that uh, may have happened, you know, in, the, in, in history with this street. It could be old buildings, uh, could have been um, drugs, it could have been prostitution, it could have been uh, anything. Black, this was Black Wall Street, and when I say Black Wall Street, I mean that uh, it was black dollars that was made on this street and dealing with uh, doctor businesses, lawyer businesses. This building that you're in is the uh, first black movie theater that only blacks could come to and we couldn't go down on Main Street. So this was money, uh, this was a money uh, district to where it, everything that I told you, drugs, prostitution, whether it was violence or anything that deteriorated this area, uh, winos, the whole works, it deteriorated this area and it made other businesses want to close down their shops and go to the areas that we were talking about earlier, which is your uptowns, uh, your 68s and your uh, South Main and North Main. This is the model for what happens when you go through those bad habits and you're trying to revitalize it inch for inch. You start putting in arts, you start putting in music, you start putting in uh, businesses that are wanting to do the same thing and have the same type of environment around their business so that it's not like a run out but it's like a, okay we care about our neighborhood now uh, you may have to find somewhere else to be and that kind of gives that type of bad habit uh, environment lets them know kind of nicely, okay, you've had your fun, you've done enough damage, we're here to clean it up, and we would like for you to help us clean it up, and if you don't want to help us clean it up, then please leave. From the time that uh, all of this has happened, that was years ago. That was almost 20 something years ago, and it's just now getting back to where we care about this place, we're gonna do it, we're gonna make a difference. And this is what you're seeing now. Invites instead of invites a different crowd because when you do have abandoned buildings or you don't have things of new nature, then people tend to don't care. It's, it's, it, it deals with a lot with family. Uh, I, I would say that would be number one. No jobs or maybe um, the lack of wanting a job or just plain out not caring, then that's when we get to that to that end. Because I feel like in a situation to where if you have a, a homeless shelter here and you got a family here, if the shelter is here and the family is here, if the family cares about the person that's in the shelter, then you wouldn't have a shelter. And it just goes to show, man, the community, it can help a person, whether it's black, white, Chinese, it don't matter. And I, and I guess we shouldn't look at a lot of this TV and dealing with black and white issues because we need to start looking at issues like just happened today. You know, you had no problem at all. You'd never been to High Point before in your life. But you don't know that this used to be one of the roughest, toughest neighborhoods to where if you'd have came down this street years ago at the time that I was telling you, that you probably would have 
stop at the, the top of the street and said, I'm not going down there. I don't care I am with you, you know what I mean? I'm not going with you. But that's the turnaround that it has come. But even if then, if you'd have came down here meeting the right person, you still made it this far. I do say the church has been. It has been a large uh, 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 factor for every family uh, in the community. Uh, but I do say it's the belief of what one wants to believe in as major. Because you can go to a church or you can go anywhere and hear what you want to hear, but you got to believe and receive in yourself of what's real and what isn't to where you know what's right. So a church does play a big part in it because that's where most people will learn the beginning of what you need to learn in your history. You may hear bad things about High Point. You may hear uh, things that probably uh, was misinterpreted about this city, but this city is uh, its number one in my, my books, and we do a lot, a lot of number one things. Maybe not as uh, populated as uh, Winston, Greensboro, Charlotte, but we take big names out of here. Uh, the gentleman that's on the wall, number 95, uh, he's from um, right here. This is his grandfather. Mr. Hayes is his grandfather. He plays, he was drafted with the uh, Tennessee Titans. Man, we had at least about six or seven High Point natives uh, in the NFL at one time. We're small, uh, we're a gym uh, that has uh, always been discovered. This is a city that's wanted things to be very quiet and it has survived being quiet. High Point is the place to be. Uh, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is the place to be.